guys, my name is Prof2 and today it's time for another of my uh, review uh, series. Uh, today I'm gonna review the Azerbaijani entry for this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, and it was supposed to be the song called Cleopatra, performed by Samira Effendi. <laughs> Well, first of all, uh, shout out to the team behind the song, uh, Luke van Beers, uh, Alan Roy, Scott and uh, Sarah Lake. So yeah, those are the songwriters and well, I'm, I'm gonna um, review it uh, and talk about the musical category, the melody, how well it does sound together, instrumental and so on, the vocal uh, category, how the vocal sound in this song, if it's good or not, and so on, and and the and the lyrical aspect category, which is about the the message, the the lyrics in general, how work it the the phrases work, how well the phrases work together, uh, and yeah, well, uh, as all you of you. As all of you know, uh, I really like this song, but yeah, I have to be here uh, neutral and just uh, point out what I like about the song and what I don't like. So yeah, uh, let's go first up is the musical category. Well, the structure of the song is uh, pretty unusual. Uh, it has that uh, interesting element for Euro as for Eurovision, the Japanese mantra when uh, she goes like, uh, you know, mm, yummy, yummy, um, and so on. I don't know uh, how to do it, but yeah, it's, uh, it's really in unusual, but very, uh, very, in a very good way. Mm, I I'm just really curious how well, it, how well it could, uh, how well they would trans transition it to the stage, you know, that would be interesting to see. But in the end, we won't uh, see it. But yeah, uh, there are also um, distinguishable, you know, like differences. Like you know, it's different from a typical structure of a song, like you know, verses, uh, chorus, and bridge. But here, it's not that clear. You know, that's that's what it's good. Uh, yeah. Mm. Instrumental, yeah, drums may make a very great beat. It's so good, so memorable, it makes the me melody memorable, that's what I mean. And then, yeah, the, the biggest, the best thing about the song is just the oriental and ancient sounds that we have here. Uh, they make a great atmosphere, if you know what I mean. It's just amazing. Uh, Eurovision aspect, yeah, um, yeah, the, the, only the, this epic sound the oriental thing is just not that common this year, along with the mantra, so that gives it uh, uh, standing out. Uh, it's to, that's what it makes stand out this year. So yeah, that's why I like this song, and that's why I'm giving uh, them in the musical t category the, the song uh, a 9 out of 10. So it's pretty high, because I totally enjoy this mu music, this melody. Now, next up, vocal category, yeah. Um, I feel like, okay, uh, first of all, what, what I want to say is that I don't feel like this song is the best for uh, FND to perform, for Samira. Um, she does her, her best, but I feel like she would feel much um, better in other songs. That's what I, I think. That's what I feel when uh, listening to the song. But yes, yeah, still she does uh, does her best, like I said, and she has wonderful articulation, like the way she sings the words, like Cleopatra. It's just on point. Um, yeah, some of the high notes seem to be 
a challenge life, that they could be a real challenge life. Uh, but yeah, we want to uh, see if she could do it or not. That's the point. Um, but yeah, s still, Fendi sounds strong enough for the live performance. I just feel, you know, uh, very po positive about it. And uh, well, the, the voice alone of her is just very rich and colorful uh, voice. She has a colorful voice texture, texture, uh, so she can go from low to, you know, to high. Amazing. Uh, that's why I give it uh, her uh, her voice in, in this vocal category, uh, in how well she sounds in this song, uh, an 8 out of 10. So yeah, also a good uh, thing. A lyrical category, mm, well, vocabulary aspect, yeah, verses have totally gre have great flow, she goes with the flow and um, you know, step by step goes there to the chorus. Um, yeah, the message also is uh, pretty nice about not uh, giving up when you betrayed and so on, like to act like a real queen, you know what I mean. So yeah, it's it's good. But the chorus alone is just underwhelming. Like she just repeats the la 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 for uh, more than 100 times, like someone uh, told me it's uh, 112 times, so that's a lot. <laughs> uh, and it kind of bothers me because it becomes boring, slightly, you know, for me. Um, so yeah, it's not that ambitious, I would say. W way too repetitive, yeah. Um, and when I listen to it more and more, the la 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 part is just becoming slightly annoying. But yeah, the, on the other hand, when it's repetitive, uh, it gets also memorable. Like you remember that Cleopatra, la 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 la, and yeah, I remember the melody easily. Uh, but yeah, it, that's why in the end I'm giving it a 4, sadly, out of 10, because it's not that ambitious and that it totally doesn't work that much for me, you know. Like I totally love this melody. The, the lyrics could be somewhat less uh, repetitive, yeah, in the, in the chorus, I mean, because verses are good. So yeah, uh, in the end we have uh, we have to sum it up, and it will be uh, 9 from musical category, an 8 from vocal category, and 4 from lyrical category, and we have 9 plus 4, uh, 9 plus 8, it's 17, plus 4, it's uh, 21, uh, so there, yeah, that's the sum up score, and now uh, I will have to split it by uh, three because because of the three categories, and it will be twenty one uh, split by three, uh, and it will be seven uh, out of ten. Uh, the final score of mine, of me, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that that's my score. But now let's go to my to, to see what the final score will be for. Uh, among my jury from Destination Eurovision. Hello Draga, how are you doing today? Hello, I'm really good. Thanks for asking. And you? Yeah, I'm also very fine. I'm glad you joined with me here, here today. And I would like to uh, have your opinion uh, on uh, the song of Azerbaijan, the Cleopatra. What do you think about it? I'm really happy to be here too. And I really like Cleopatra. It is one of my favorite songs this year. It's really catchy and modern, and the instrumental has something like Egyptian vibes, which I like very much. And I think it could do really well on Eurovision stage, and I regret that we won't see Effendi this year. But I hope next year she will come back with, even so with something even better. So yes, I really like it. And that was my opinion. Thank you very much. Yeah, I like it uh, as well so much. Uh, I hope that it will be even more oriental, even more yeah. uh, interesting than uh, than Cleopatra. Who knows? Maybe it will be even better. We hope so. I hope. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Well, uh, let's go to the scores of your jury from Destination Eurovision. So please take it away. Okay. So in musical category. Uh, the 
average score is 7.8. In vocal category, uh, the average score is 7.2. And in lyrical category, the average score is 4.4. And our final score is 6.47. Oh, that's kind of disappointing, isn't it? The 6.47. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's just because of the lyrics that are not that ambitious. Well, yeah, what can sure. we do? Yeah, <laughs> let's be just, you know, honest with our opinions. Anyways, thank you so much for joining in and uh, to be with, uh, here with me uh, to give your scores. Uh, well, thank you very much. Thank you so much. It was really nice. So take care, Aga, bye! Bye! So yeah, there you have the score from uh, them. And when we uh, sum it up uh, with my, my score, it, this is the score we get. And it, of course there will be added the public score to it, but that will come later on, since right after this video, even right now, you can uh, comment while watching or listening to me, you can Mm, write your comments and give the points in all the categories and well the average will come out eventually so your final score will be uh, and all the final scores from this video under this video uh, in, uh, yeah in the comment section uh, also the scores from the Instagram will uh, also put the the scores uh, plus also the mm, Oh my god, I'm lost. But also from the Destination Extra group, uh, where I put the poll, where, where they will you know, a post, post when they rate the songs in the categories. So yeah, uh, it will be all summed up to the score of mine and the Destination Eurovision jury, and they, then we have the score for the entry. So yeah, mm, I would love for you to participate in it so please vote uh, give the scores in each of the categories and well thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video do the thumbs up if you want to share your opinion also you can share your opinion al along with the with, with your votes like two three sentences about the musical vocal lyrical category uh, and then mm, yeah be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon so you can be notified about my newest uploads. Uh, yeah, the reviews are gonna come um, every day. I will try to upload them every day. So, yeah. Um, and yeah, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram so you can bo vote uh, even more times if you want. Why not? Um, the links are in the description below and as well to the links to the accounts of Destination Eurovision. Um, on Facebook and Instagram, so you can follow them on, uh, to get some. Uh, they, they do also their stuff in English, so you can uh, read the newest news uh, and their activities, which I'm a part of as well. So yeah. Uh, anyways, again, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, see you next time. Take care. Bye.